I am Professor Emma Teeling from the School of Biology and Environmental Science at UCD and I'm here tonight in the Royal Irish Academy to give a discourse on how we can study bats and rats to uncover the secret of everlasting youth. We are now living longer. There's going to be 380% increase in people over the age of 80 um, by the year 2050. Uh, but the problem is that despite us having much longer lifespans, our health spans haven't matched it yet. So we need to find ways that we can live healthier longer. Now a way to do this is to study species that have naturally evolved longer health spans. These would be, for example, the bats. We go out into the field year after year after year. We take little samples of blood and wing from our long-lived bats. We bring them back to my lab in UCD and we work out what they're doing at the molecular level to slow down aging to prevent cancer, to not have rheumatoid arthritis? What have bats naturally evolved that allow them fight and resist aging? We've come up some, from wonderful candidate genes. We found that they're able to repair their DNA that gets damaged from living, things that we can't do, things that drive cancer. We find that they're able to balance their immune system so they don't become over inflamed as they age. Think of arthritis, they shouldn't get that. They find ways to repair their chromosomes, the protective caps at the end of their chromosomes. So bats have evolved multiple different mechanisms that allow them resist aging. And so now that we've found these pathways, what we need to do is try and identify what can we do with what we've learned from bats to allow us humans have longer health spans. And I'm going to give an example of how can you do this? How can you take the information from bats to help humans live healthier longer? An example is another extremely long-lived mammal given their body size, and these are the naked mole rats. Those strange, hairless things that literally like nightmares that live underground, where the female, she's a queen, and she suppresses all of the other females that they can't have babies. They act like termites or ants, but they're extraordinary because they also can resist cancer. They resist aging. Now what this simply means is that once we can identify pathways that allow bats and naked mole rats slow down aging and prove within the lab that it actually really does have the effect we think it should have, we can then create the drugs to modify our own pathways to allow us achieve that same effect. I'm a member of the Royal Irish Academy, which is an absolutely brilliant honour, and I've acted before as a respondent on another discourse. To me, it is such an honour. I am so proud to actually get an opportunity to talk about my research in such a learned establishment. And it's great to have public audience turn up to hear what I have to talk about. So really, I'm honoured, I'm thrilled, and I better do a good job.